always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Beautiful night out there. Had to visit this sky cam again just because the full moon looks so pretty. Now keep in mind the preceded meteor shower peaks tonight, but because of the full moon it's going to cut down on how many meteors you're actually going to see. Typically this is one of the most popular meteor showers of the year. It comes around every time at the same time each year. But because of the full moon, we'll probably only see about 20 meteors per hour. Typically, this meteor shower features as much as 60 to 100. But regardless, beautiful night. Temperatures are going to be sinking down to a really cool 49 in Fremont, 46 in Big Rapids, a lot of 50s across the board. But with sunshine tomorrow, we're very quickly going to be warming up to the mid 60s by 10 a.m. And then check out tomorrow afternoon. Few clouds from time to time, but sitting pretty in the upper 70s, if not 80 degrees. Our winds will be much lighter than it was today, only at about three miles per hour. And despite a few clouds from time to time, in general, we're expecting a clear sky for Friday. So here's an example of what the clouds will look like. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow. You can see a few streaming in. Notice the wind is already beginning to change a bit, so we're going to lose the rough beach conditions out on Lake Michigan, which is a great thing. By the time we get to the afternoon, again, a few clouds from time to time, but dry. If you have any plans on Friday, should not be interrupted by any rain. It's not until Saturday that we start to see some rain showers begin to move in. Already the system is passing through Minnesota. This is attached to a warm front, and it's going to be sliding in for us on Saturday with some residual showers for us on Sunday. So here's the side-by-side -side for Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, 73 degrees. Sunday, 74. I actually just dropped these temperatures, 2 degrees, from our previous forecast because it does look like it's going to be fairly cool with scattered showers from time to time. Not everyone is going to see a ton of rain, but it could rain at any time. So it's just one of those things where if you're planning on doing something outdoors, make sure you have a little bit of wiggle room with the rain showers in the forecast. Sunday, most of the rain is expected earlier in the day wrapping up by the time we get to the afternoon. So here's 4 o'clock, again, dry. The wave of rain dives down through West Michigan through the heart of Saturday, and then it takes a while for it to finally wrap up. So Saturday night, rain showers, and then Sunday, some gradual clearing. We're expecting anywhere between a splash of rain, not much, to as much as potentially a bullseye of an inch, but most of us won't see too terribly much out of that system. Very comfortable for next week, a really pleasant eight-day forecast.